Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with another Bulls model showcase. Today I have an Imperial Knight painted by my good buddy Jay Roy. Uh, it's a special uh, Astro, uh, Legio Astroman, excuse me, Knight. So uh, yeah, Jay, tell me about this model, man. Well, basically anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge, huge fan of Titans and anything related to Titans. So I have a Reaver Titan that I painted in the Legio Astroman color scheme. And when I heard about the Knights, I knew immediately that I wanted to do a small Knight Force painted in the same color scheme. And I kind of developed that into an army. It's essentially kind of a Legio Astroman Defense Force. Cool. Uh, what was the driving factor behind you wanting to paint uh, this specific house and this color scheme? Was there a particular palette you liked about it? Or, you know, what was that, what was that thought process like? Well, primarily it was green. That's what drew me to it originally. And as I read more about it, I thought the story was really cool. And essentially, there's not a whole lot known about the Legio Astromen. And they're, they're kind of been lost for a little while. There's not a whole lot of them around. And it just kind of, I just like the story a lot. Right on. Uh, could you talk to me a little bit about uh, some of the challenges in painting such a big model? I know that you've got two other of these knights that are painted up similar, but they're, they're all very characterful. So I know that you had some challenges that you figured out while you were painting three of these bad boys. Well, my biggest challenge was actually the time frame I wanted to do it in. I, had, I only gave myself about a month, and it was in prep for a tournament down here in Texas. So I, I really used my airbrush a lot. I used a lot of dry brushing in this particular case. Um, tried to do it as quickly as I could, but keep it really nice and clean. That's the, the style that I really like. So I, I really base coat a lot with, with my airbrush. I primed it with my airbrush, did a lot of dry brushing, and really that's it. It was all about time. Besides the dry brushing and the airbrush that you used, I mean, were there any other techniques you used to help you keep such a clean paint job on these guys and, and, and help you with that time frame that you were kind of working with? Yeah, I, I used some masking tape to mask off the shoulder pads and the knee pads and any, any other places I wanted to do the blue and white stripes. That was definitely a time saver. Well, it definitely came out looking sharp and clean. I really do like these paint jobs, but... How do they work on the tabletop? You mentioned earlier that you were prepping for a tournament. Um, you know, just curious, you brought three of these bad boys. How did that work out for you? I thought they were great fun. As much fun as I was hoping they would be. Of course, beer was involved, so that always helps. But, uh, I mean, I, I went up against another army with five knights, the full five in the 1,850-point army, and I, I thought it was just a blast. Stuff exploding all over the place, knights causing other knights to explode. It was great. So basically giant robot death time. So, well, that sounds pretty awesome. That's about all the time we have here on the uh, Bulls Model Showcase. Again, this is Adam Harry for Bulls. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, give us a show like, subscribe down at the bottom, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit us up in the Bulls Lounge. If you have any ideas for uh, models you'd like to see, let us know. Again, Adam Harry Bulls signing off. Have a great one.